the viciousness was what what I saw. It, it, it's an attack on the basic moral fabric of America. There's nothing less than that going on right now. This is a country that over a period of decades now has been victimized by the kind of increasing inequality and injustice that Pedro talked about is quite real. And what I saw in Washington that bothered me the most wasn't just the attacks on these basic values that we are together. It was the timidity of people who should be standing up and saying, no, we need to recruit the energies of, of our nation, of our public, of our hearts, to make sure that equality and justice and compassion are centralized in the public policies we have. Instead, we're backing away. We're backing away, and things are getting worse. Uh, this issue has been uh, put aside right now because the request that the president made to the state to house uh, these uh, children, these abandoned children uh, is now not, he took it back, but here, here's my view. It was very clear to me. When uh, Governor Patrick announced that the doors were gonna be open in Massachusetts to helping out with these children uh, in the state, I cheered. This is the kind of leadership we're talking about that would in which compassion and dignity Hola, mi nombre es Julio Ramírez, vengo de Liverpool, uh, fui invitado a este evento y me pareció muy bien las propuestas de... Rolando Oliva, estoy en representación de la Asociación de Inmigrantes de Liverpool, Massachusetts. Uh, me siento muy contento de estar en esta actividad y sobre todo al saber que hay un, un candidato a gobernador y que va a ser gobernador que eh, está apoyando pues el, el tema de los no casinos. I'm Hernani Jose de Arajo. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, supporting uh, uh, Don Berwick's campaign. Uh, this was a wonderful event, uh, working with Stanford Democracy and bringing together uh, people from uh, the neighborhood of East Boston, from the greater Boston area, even some folks from uh, other parts of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And it's great for people to come together of all walks of life uh, to deal with the issues that uh, were highlighted here by Stanford Democracy, uh, uh, part of the, the core of the campaign for Don Berwick around uh, addressing poverty, addressing social injustice, and uh, I personally believe that Don Borg is the best candidate for that. I'm an attorney in the city of New Bedford. I came from New Bedford to East Boston to meet Don Bartwick. I was very amazed and impressed by uh, Mr. Bartwick's speech. I want to invite you to come and listen to him and learn what he has to say. Bueno, mi nombre es Dorotea Manuela y soy activista y vivo en Dorchester, Massachusetts y asistí una junta hoy este, con el, el candidato para gobernador Dan Berwick y yo me estoy comprometiendo a esa campaña porque esta campaña representa las luchas de, de nuestro pueblo y él tiene ya bastante este, con hechos que demuestran que su palabra es sincera. We're in a country and in a state where growing inequality, uh, growing problems of social justice are, are hurting us. They're hurting our people, they're hurting our economy, they're hurting our futures. The Latino community is, is key. Standing up for your own rights, standing up for the rights of people, especially people with disadvantage, is key to the future of this state. I want to be a governor that defends the rights of people throughout the state, especially people at the low levels of income and people in potentially excluded subgroups. So for the Latino community, my message to you is I would welcome your support and I promise to support you in finding the power to overcome the influence of politicians and big money that are causing an erosion of social justice and equality in our commonwealth. Let's stand up for democracy. Thank you.